For those of you that couldn't find the caramel apple cake mix by Pillsbury, I'm going to show you how to make an apple cinnamon um, dessert using regular cake mix that you can find in any store. So this is an apple cinnamon crumble cake. And I'm just going to get started and show you what you need. So you'll need about three teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one entire box of Pillsbury traditional yellow cake mix. It doesn't really um, which kind, just make sure it's about 160 calories per serving. Then you're going to need two cans of light apple pie filling. I just was at Walmart today and I did see that they have their own brand of this and it's like a dollar cheaper so um, I meant to get those but anyway. These are Lucky Leaf they're easily found in Walmart. Then you're going to need 12 ounces of diet cream soda, some kind of canola or pan spray, and a three quart baking pan. And then you're going to, the first thing you're going to do is spray your pan with the canola spray. So you'll pour both cans of the apples into your baking dish. And then you're going to take two teaspoons of the cinnamon, just like the other recipe, and sprinkle it on top and kind of rub it in with a spoon until it looks like that. Then you'll take your entire box of your yellow cake mix and just pour it on top of the apples just like that and level it out with a spoon. This is also known as dump cake because it's so easy, you basically just dump everything in a pan. And next we're going to sprinkle some cinnamon. So once you've sprinkled your cinnamon on top, the last thing we're going to do, and again, this recipe literally takes five minutes to put together. You're going to take 12 ounces of diet cream soda. It does not matter what brand, um, just diet because we're saving calories by using the diet. And you're just going to pour that on top. Preheat your oven to 350 and then as you see I've poured the diet cream soda on top of here. Again, as always, it looks a little weird but trust me, it will be great. So now we're going to cover this with aluminum foil and stick it in the oven. So I'll also post this recipe on my blog but you will bake it for 20 minutes with the aluminum foil on and then you'll remove it and bake it for another 40 to 43 minutes and then until just basically until it looks like this that is so so fabulous now what you're going to do is you are going to cut this into 16 slices and each slice is only going to be three little points <laughs> 